On today's episode of the Luxury Home Show, you're joining us in the Cotswolds. We're going to be taking you inside this luxury lake house that's almost entirely made out of glass. Situated on a renowned lake development, it's a house that is completely immersed in its surroundings. We are here. We need to go here. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah, it is. Join us as we explore mm. and indulge. Tom, we're gonna make some popcorn later. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Someone's excited. So excited. And have some fun along the way. We make some interesting discoveries. There's lobsters, but there was lobsters. Where have they all gone? There, there's a big one under the bridge. Can you see it? But nothing compares to the house that we're about to show you. And here we are at Glass House, a truly unique property set within the lake, distinguishing it from all the other homes on the estate. So let's get started. Here at the front of the property, we have access by a bridge. Like I said before, this house is actually the only one on the estate that's built onto the water. So Tom, if you look kind of left and right, you can see that we're actually over the water and we even have a bridge into the garden on the other side. So basic info, we've got four double ensuite bedrooms, around 6,000 square feet and three floors. There's even a jacuzzi downstairs, so let's just head straight on in. So we're inside now. I'm so excited to show you guys around because I think this might be one of my favorite properties to date. I just love everything about it pretty much. So we'll start in the entrance hall. We have this incredible staircase that spans the whole three floors of the property. Now, fun fact, the wood on it was actually carved from a 500 year old tree from Slovenia. Wow. I know, and it's made this way here. Yeah, made this way here, like it came <laughs> by itself. World. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we've got so much to explore. I'm gonna head down these stairs first. The property's kind of tiered, and I really like that. Kind of make your way down to the lake the further you go through the property. Yeah, it's all very open plan, but there's great separation with like yeah. the different levels. 100%. So we'll start in this kitchen area, so you can have a brief look. But the best thing about the kitchen is the view from the kitchen, 100%. funny enough. 100%. Private lake, there's only what, five or six houses on this development? Yeah, on this lake. Yeah, yeah, on this lake. Exactly, so it's a very exclusive development here in yeah. the Cotswolds, and it really focuses on that second home, you know, when you don't want to be in London and you want that vacay away, staycation almost. Yeah. It's like a really posh centre parks. Yeah. I'd say. It's lovely. Very nice, yes. But anyway, here in the kitchen we have Gaganau appliances, we've got the induction hob here, and Tom will get excited about this. Yeah, I'll get ecstatic. Spotlighting above, and I love the size of this island, it's huge. You've got that black stone top, but then it contrasts really nicely with this duck egg blue Absolutely. on here. It's a Verena kitchen, right? Verena kitchen, yeah. So we've actually got some really big designer lighting names in here. We've got David Groppy and Bocky. And they rhyme, so that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Groppy and Docky. Oh no, it's not okay. <laughs> Anyway, carry anyway. on. Like I was saying, we've got some great appliances through here. You've got the Gaganau wine cooler, the microwaves, you've got the fridge freezer seamlessly hidden behind here as well. And we also have this nice, like, separate island, like a bar stool area. A wine cooler? Yeah, I know, I said that. Oh. Anyway, the thing I actually really want to show you here it's almost like a secret, secret stairwell, because I didn't know it was here at first, but if you follow yeah. me up, Tom. You get a glimpse of that sort of wraparound balcony as well. Yeah, oh yeah, that's incredible. We actually have our first reception room when you come in the property. So you can see the bridge we crossed to get here. You've got little views of the, well, not little views of the lake. I mean, you've got a little bit of the lake down there and a <laughs> yeah. big view of the lake that yeah. way. But yeah, very snug room, I think. Come over here, Jack, so we can see that view. Oh yeah. Wow. The sun's coming in at this angle now, yeah. right? There it is. <laughs> you found it? Yeah, it's nice I love and warm. these views of the lake. I know, they're beautiful. Anyway, let's come back around. We've got storage here, our downstairs guest WC through here. And as you can see, we're back in the entrance hall. The next kind of reception room is this lounge. So Tom is going to go past 
the dining room, which is there, by the way, which I totally didn't forget to mention, and you knew it was there the whole time, <laughs> into our sunken snug. So like I said, the property steps down, so Tom's below me right now, and we have this beautiful, like, just really cosy sofa setup. Opposite the fire, we've got a projector screen there and a huge blank white wall. So you've got these dark wooden floorings, dark features, like the beams across, but then you've yeah. got these white ceilings and white walls which really reflect the outside. Yeah, and the, the outside contrast. is such a big part of the interior yeah, because exactly. it makes up 50% of your view. Literally. Incredible. Yeah. Should we go check out the outside, speaking of that? Yes, let's do it. I'll open this up for you and pop straight out. Thank you. So, fun fact about Lisa, this glazing, it's actually triple glazing and it's seven centimetres thick. Wow. I know. You've got tinted glass at the top of the house as well, so it doesn't get too hot. Yeah. The property was built to be very sustainable, so as soon as I concentrate on getting down these stairs without catching my heel <laughs> in the wood, I'll tell you about that. Cute swing, that's why I came down here, by the way. But I'm going to come back up, and as I do, I'm going to talk to you about sustainability. So we touched on it a little bit, but this house was built to be fully sustainable. So it's really kind of efficient to run, low energy, EPC rating of B. We've actually got, let's list some things off. So first one, the wood on the exterior of the building was subject to the ancient Japanese art of timber burning. So it's a very natural and preservative free process. So it has a really long lasting finish and it's also fireproof, which is handy on a lake. So there's a lot of green technology that's gone into the house. You've got the air thermal heat pump. You've got triple glazing, like I said before. Heat recovery system. Heat recovery system yeah. and solar panels on the roof. Wow. So incredible. Yeah, a lot to remember. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll touch on a little bit more of how the development itself focuses on, sp sustain on sustainability. <laughs> sustainability is the word of the day and we can't say it. Yes. <laughs> on this side of the terrace, we actually have a tandoori and pizza oven and also a barbecue. But if you're not fancy in cooking for yourself at home, they have a really cool restaurant here. So here we are at the Lakes Bar and Kitchen, where they've really embraced the developer's vision for a strong community. You can come here and enjoy brilliant food in a really rustic environment. the terrace we're actually going to take you 3.5 meters underwater and show you the incredible basement let's go so we've made it to the basement now we're going to come this way first we've got tinted glass sliding doors separating the two main spaces down here the first one being our own spa kind of so you've got this huge jacuzzi framed with the wood we have a sauna just through there if i open it up Oh, I love that smell. <laughs> BRB, I'm just going to lock myself in here. So now we're leaving the spa section of the basement. We've got a utility room and toilet that I just walked past. And we're in the games room. <laughs> How epic is this? When I first looked at the floor plan, it said playroom. So I was expecting like kind of like a kid's room. And when we actually came down here, it's so amazing. You've even got the light flooding in from the windows above, even though we are 3.5 meters underground, and you've just got this really epic space. You've got a bar here, which has a candy floss machine, a popcorn machine. Tom, we're we gonna make some popcorn later. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, we'll make some popcorn. Okay, someone's excited. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> and do you know why you need the popcorn? Oh, I can have a guess. These might be some hints. Yeah. Here we go, guys, you ready? Let's go. How incredible is this cinema room? Yeah, this cinema room is so cool. It's a whole it's, mood. It's yeah. very dark. Oh yeah, but that's how you want a cinema room. Why wouldn't you want one like that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've got um, prime TV on the screen. Oh yeah. Like what else Wait, would you what watch? What else are you watching? <laughs> and make sure you click this button here. <laughs> but if you guys aren't watching YouTube, The Luxury Home Show, then what film would you watch down here? Tom, what do you think you'd watch? Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Oh, what dun, film would dun, I watch? Dun, 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 Maybe dun. Ariel, Under the Sea, because oh, we're under the water. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. It's not what I was expecting. I'd go more Lord of the Rings, to be honest. Fair enough. Anyway, Tom's now going to take you upstairs and show you the bedrooms. Hey 
guys. So now I'm up on the first floor. Jazz said there are four bedrooms in the intro. There was actually one downstairs at the base of the staircase. The first room we're going to show you in here is the study. And it's nice and air-conned because we have a bit of a greenhouse effect in here because it's so good at keeping the heat and it's quite hot today. This whole house was actually built by the Dutch architects Meccano. And one of their visions was to create a space that felt like living on the water. And I don't think there's a better room to show you that they have certainly achieved that than this because your whole view is the lake. Wow. So the position of this house is right on the edge of the lake, as we've said a few times, but there was no mature trees cut down in the process of building this. So it adds to that sustainable feel. And this tree line around here works so well, at a barrier for sight and sound. So you get little road noise and you don't get people looking at you when you come past. It's great privacy. Yeah. Oh, before we leave this room, I just wanted to take a moment, just visualize. This is how I'd spend my evenings here. Sat with the vinyl player. And what vinyl would I choose? There's some over here. <laughs> Maybe Sting. We'll go for Sting. So yeah, I'll be here with my Sting record. Sat by the edge of the lake. Speakers on. Speakers on? Speakers on? <laughs> yeah. Oh well, yeah, great spot for it. Definitely. Anyway, carrying on. I love the, the separation from this house. It's very contemporary, very straight and clean lines. Yes. But there is such good separation between the spaces. You sort of have to peek round yeah. to see the different areas. Speaking of peeking round, have a little look at that. I know he's been freaking you out a couple of times today, Jeff. I just keep catching him out the corner of my eye and he really scares me. So now we've got the dressing room for the principal suite and an incredible place for a bath. This is a bit of a sneak peek. Look at that view. Wow. Glass sliding doors. This is a pivot door, look at this. I know. Huge door for the principal suite and a flat mouse. Oh, there is. <laughs> principal suite reveals another fantastic view of the lake. Wow. This is a very impressive room. Yeah. Not just double aspects, but triple aspect. Because we actually curve around where the ensuite is. We've got a leather headboard, wood again, quite a dark wood, matching the flooring and the Sujiban Japanese artifact that Jazz mentioned outside. Oh yeah, that's the uh, burning timber. For yes, those who the don't know. wood smoked technique. Yes. The ancient art. And then this is that bath that we were talking about. So you do enter it from the Wardrobe, yeah. Yeah, walking wardrobe. Or but here, you could if you move potentially move the chair. Yeah, yeah. it's a great place for that bath. Definitely. Incredible. Okay, let's head round into the ensuite jazz. Maybe I'll go this way. Oh, are you gonna go that way? Oh yeah. There we Smart go. Smart thinking. So we have this black marble ensuite. Feels very much like a spa in here. There is actually an on-site spa within this development. We're gonna come back for another video. So we might show you guys that another another time. Yes. Check this out. Huge shower head. It's like a steam shower, we've got yeah. the bench here. Bench and a shower, what can I say? Yeah. You need it. Doesn't get much better than that. Love the pendant like too, Jazz, it's like a bubble. That, oh, that's incredible, it's I love that. LEDs all the way through, we've got speakers through here as well. The toilet is tucked nicely oh. just behind there. I didn't even nice. see it, did you? No, I didn't. And we've got another like walk-in wardrobe space. I like so. the robe in there. Yeah, not short of storage. Okay, so coming back out the principal suite, I'm gonna close that off. We're gonna head round this way now because we've got two more bedrooms just here. Let's take a moment to have a look at all of the glazing. We've got the tinted glazing up above us with the LED strip lights. Can you see that from where you are? I can now, yeah. yeah. Amazing, right? It is. Today we've got a nice clear day, but I can imagine when the stars are out, <gasps> you know, there's a little light pollution here, so. Yeah. Anyway, 500 okay. years old. <laughs> Which side, yeah, 500 years old staircase just come crumbling down. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Which side should we go? Because it's two uh, bedrooms. My left. This way? Our left, Okay, I so say. we're gonna go into the blue room to start with. Ooh. It's past the ladder. We have the ensuite through here and a white marble theme. Great spot here for getting ready, doing your makeup nice. and whatnot. And then we have the bed just this side. Yeah, I like how the aspect so different. You're just like immersed in forest. Yeah. Come and have a look, Jazz. Oh my goodness, there's a mozzie screen. That's very good. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Down there, we actually have the seating area. So during the day, you and your fam, or whoever's coming here, great spot to sit. Definitely. I'm it's gonna your fix garden. this now. So give me a second. Okay, doors all good. We're gonna head across through to the other room. This one's more of a pink theme. This one was blue. Now we've got the blinds that I mentioned just before. Oh, operate them like so. Oh. So they come on down, giving you fantastic privacy. I nearly fell over then. That was a slippery <laughs> bit of floor. <laughs> We've got the shelves here with no glass to the other side. Yeah, I so like that. Yeah, you liked them earlier, didn't you? 
We've got the basin just here, and then the white marble bathroom. This one's so much bigger than I thought. It's like a TARDIS. Yeah, absolutely. Back up. So now we're finished with all the bedrooms, we're going to head up this staircase and check out the roof terrace. Let's go. So we are wrapping up this tour on the roof terrace, an incredible spot that you can enjoy views of the whole lake from the highest position in the property. I love that we've got the greenery up here as well. So you really just feel like you're part of the woods. Yeah. Not really disturbing much. Again, the smoked wood. And let's have a last little glimpse. Little glimpse, massive glimpse. Massive glimpse. At this humongous lake. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we are coming back here. So be sure to stay tuned because in a week or so, we're gonna have another incredible property inside of this development. We love this type of spot. Let us know, what do you think? Like and subscribe, and we'll see you then. Incredible luxury lake house apartment. Outside life. Used to be. Used to be. Drink your Fanta. <laughs> Here we are at the lake spa and restaurant with a really, okay, really embraced A monkey. What were you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? In Slovenia. And that's here. Slovenia. 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 In Slovenia. Slovenia, you mean? Slovenia! Where's Slovenia? Slovenia, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Air con fan? Yep. Are you an Acon fan? Acon <laughs> fan. <laughs> I'm gonna fly across like a mosquito. Yeah. What? So Tom, come round here. I've got something kind of weird to show you. There's lobsters. Well, there was lobsters. Where have they all gone? <gasps> okay, there. There's a big one under the bridge. Can you see it? No. Oh, there's one straight down. I can't see one chilling on top. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, I can see him. A minute ago. Came Sorry. Came here to show the house. Why are we showing them lobsters? Because it was kind of weird that there was lobsters in the lake.